I have a brand new problem we get to face. I had no idea that pill bugs, pill bugs, mind you, would eat my cucumbers. I don't know where he went. Look at, look at them. You see them down there? Everybody keeps telling me I'm nuts. I've been on a few groups and they're like, pill bugs don't eat plants. To hell they don't. They are nibbling the bases of all of my cucumbers. Um, I put this brown paper down. That is one thing that I read might help. Um, let's see if I pull this back. I don't know. No. They said if you put that down, they would gather under it. I'm going to leave it. I hate, you know, having to hurt bugs that I always thought were beneficial. But I think in this case, we're going to have to get some sort of a... Some sort of an item that might take them out. Um, somebody told me that Sluggo Plus will do it. So today I may be on a mission to go to Home Depot or Lowe's uh, and see if they have this product. So here's what my cucumbers are looking like though. They, they look pretty good otherwise. I've got two that have some yellowing going on. But I don't know if it's you know, because of their stems allowing in, you can see, see that brown leaf over there. I'm not real sure. It's also happening down here on some of the okra. So I've got to look at a few things that might impact plants, diseases and such. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and trim those leaves off. Somebody thought that it might be problematic, so I've got my shears and I think trimming them is probably the best line of defense right now. So we want whatever this is to stop spreading. Even down here, look. A little cotyledon bottom. Trim that off. These old trimmers were like a great purchase this year. I don't normally trim all the time and I decided this was gonna be my year that I get to figure out how to trim plants. He's gonna start climbing. So see his little, this right here will start grabbing very soon. Um, gosh, this is weighting this down. I'm so nervous to, yeah. I want him to stay upright and I'm gonna make a solution for the pill bugs uh, and see if we can't get those under control as well and these are all you know diseased leaves that get to go I don't even think I want these in my uh compost pile because I don't know I don't know what else that could lead to so uh, we're going to try to keep those separate I'm not sure if I can step through my okra my okra has some browning leaves too that I'll have to come through and clip I don't know if it's related or not but might just help with the health of these plants I think also, I'm wondering if this uh, black cloth, as much as I thought it might help with, you know, weeds and stuff, I'm wondering if it's actually contributing to some of this, if it's fungal, um, and also the critters, you know. I don't know that I have ever had pill bugs eating my plants the way that they are this year, so, but... You know, I don't want to take any chances, so I got to think about it and figure out if I'm going to remove this black plastic. I haven't, I haven't decided yet, but it is something that I am considering if it means my plants will have a healthier life. I mean, these 
these are these are really looking rough some of them that one I don't know if I trimmed it that much I don't know if it'll survive what else have we got here that's already dead okay here's one down here that is looking pretty bad oops if I can get the camera See that down there? Now I've got ants everywhere, but see this? That's what the pill bugs are doing. They're stripping the stems. And I'm wondering if that's also not contributing to why something is able to get into these plants. Now look how bad these ones are. Oh, I don't like these at all. So we're gonna trim them. Trim these off. Trim those off. Out of the garden. Sorry, I you know my camera works all over when I'm trying to do something and talk at the same time. Just want healthy plants. And if trimming is the way we do it, then that's fine by me. All right, I'll uh, continue to keep an eye on these. That one can go. And, uh, you know, I think this is something that I'm just gonna have to try to stay ahead of and uh, watch them on all levels. You know, same with this okra, goodness gracious. I don't know what happens here with these that they're, I just have noticed they've never really done, they've been doing that ever since I put them in, which makes me nervous, makes me very nervous. I hope I didn't introduce something, you know, without knowing it. Oh, man. Whoops. Okay. Everything always looks better, though, after you do this, doesn't it? Okay, we'll be back when uh, I make up my solution. Oh, look. Here he is, look at. See him down there? Yeah. There's a little baby cucumber trying to come along. Yay. That's a good sign. Yay. Okay, there's hope. <laughs> it is pouring here. <laughs> and I decided at the last minute that I am going to come out and remove this black plastic. Yeah, because it's raining. Um, I'm kind of thinking that the moisture that's gonna create underneath there, if there's already some sort of a fungal issue, might not be a good scene. Uh, now the black plastic seems to be working everywhere else so far and this is one bed that i think it gets to come up and especially since the pill bugs are living under there and they're creating such a problem so here i am in the rain with my rain boots and i'm gonna cut this plastic all right this plastic gets to go My plastic. And there are ants living under here that are gonna hate me for this because they're about to get soaking wet. Tons and tons of ants. Sorry, y'all. Had to be done. You should have 
had a discussion with your little pill bug brothers and sisters and said, hey, yo, please stop causing problems. This is uh, like Swiss cheese. I'm surprised I haven't seen many of the pill bugs now. I wonder if because it's raining if they are hiding on the edge of this garden. Oh, there's one, two, three. Oh yeah, they're gonna start. Revealing themselves, I think. So, this is what we're doing, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the whole thing. I just think for the life of these, it's gonna be better. I hate that I'm gonna have to worry about the weeds, but sometimes you gotta you gotta look and uh, pick your battles, and I think this is a battle that I'm just not gonna win and I am I can stay on top of weeds I don't know that I can stay on top of a fungal infection so this is what we're doing I also should probably add that uh, my shears that I used earlier today I am also going to disinfect those because I don't want that to transfer I think I have a few roly-polies, pill bugs, potato bugs, whatever you want to call them. They are definitely living underneath this plastic. So, I don't know, it's not coming through as clearly. See them? And then of course I've got ants over here, look at that. <laughs> They're not gonna love me for this, but look at pill bugs. Yeah, sorry little guys, you get to find a new home. I'm gonna have some weeding that I gotta do because there was still, even with the black plastic, there was some stuff living under there, but I think for this garden specifically, since there is a fungal issue, this is going to give it some more air to breathe. And I think that's gonna be important here. So here's hoping that uh, we were able to stop whatever it was that was causing that. Um, now I still got to figure out these little wretched guys. Um, yeah, I don't want I don't want those pill bugs living in here. Um, so I've I've read that you can get some solutions and even try a solution that might um, that might help. So I'm gonna go in the kitchen and probably start making that up now. Oh gosh, I don't even think this is... Look at them. Look at those suckers. Yeah. I don't like it. So, let me head on inside and we'll get a solution started that might be able to help battle them once this, uh... Once this rain stops. Alright, I am back in the kitchen. And over here, I've got garlic. These are some chili peppers that I dried from my own garden a couple years ago. Um, you could use cayenne pepper, I think I've seen. I wasn't sure that I had any and I wasn't sure how old it was, so I thought maybe going with the hot pepper and pouring some boiling water over it might be best. So over on the stove, I do have a kettle with some water going. I am going to put a bunch of garlic in here. Uh, I'm not even measuring. I have no idea how much something like this would take. <laughs> That's probably, I don't know, three tablespoons. Um, I don't know. That's quite a lot, but I think that's going to be okay. I think that's going to be needed because garlic repels a lot of things. So does onion. I saw a video where they used onion, um, but the fact that I have onion aphids right now has me going, mm, maybe that's not such a good idea. And maybe there are things attracted to the onions. So I decided to avoid that for the time being. Um, I think this will be enough just with this, but I'm going to then cut these up, I think, because that'll, 
uh, open these pods up, the seeds will fall out. And, you know, the seeds are where some of that heat is. And this is going to look like a, a big mess, and that's fine because I'm going to strain it. I'm going to, oh, everything's flying out of here. I'm going to take all of this once it's dried. Or, I mean, sorry, once it's cooled. Once everything is cooled, and I'm going to um, put it through fine mesh strainer. And uh, hopefully we'll be left with just the liquid, and I'll pop it in a spray bottle. And we're going to go spray all around the bottoms of the cucumber plants and see if this does anything. Guys, for all I know, this might not might not do what it needs to do. Sometimes things work for some people that don't work for others. It's a crapshoot. Um, but this is something I've seen over and over again for pests. So we're going to try it. You know what? I mean, let's, let's get more peppers. Like, I'm, I'm thinking let's burn these suckers. I also, though, am worried, like, if it burns them, what else does it burn? There are ants, which I don't care if the ants relocate. I have ants all over the place. It's an issue I've had at this location where I rent forever. Um, never been able to get rid of them. So I don't want this hurting, like, the worms. Um, I don't think it should really impact anything else. I, It's hard to know, though. It's really hard to know. But I'm only going to really spray it down at the bottom where uh, where those pill bugs are and where they're nibbling. Ah, that's probably plenty. All right, let's get that hot water. I don't know that it matters how high you go with it. That's probably plenty. We want it to be semi-concentrated, I would think. So I'm going to let that steep. Oh, look at that. I let it sit overnight. Ooh, that smells strong. That is garlic and hot peppers. That frightens even me. So uh, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try to Pour this in this bottle first just to uh, get all the stuff out of there. We just want the liquid. Hopefully, this will work. And then I'm going to transfer all that liquid back into this because it's easier to pour. Actually, I may not need to. It might be uh, fine just to pour straight into this bottle. So I have what was Windex. I actually need to rinse that out. This is, I, <laughs> long story, I actually tried to go get a spray bottle today from Home Depot and uh, they're all sold out thanks to the pandemic. So we had to get crafty and that meant uh, emptying out the little bit of Windex that I had and we're going to use that. Okay, now it's rinsed out. And uh, I might be able to do this. Uh, look at all that. That was all peppers and garlic. Whew. All right, this is just a funnel going into that. I'm going to dump this in here. There we go. So that is our liquid. Look how concentrated that is just from the peppers. So I hope that's good and hot. And uh, I'm just gonna put this on it. And once our rain stops, my plants are getting hit with this and I'm hoping that that will deter the pill bugs. Uh, I read online, a lot of people suggested this. Uh, I also have diatinaceous earth, so I might also add some of that to each uh, 
cucumber base just to keep the critters away but I don't know this could be enough we'll uh, we'll find out because this this may get used in quite a few places around my garden and especially if it works so